if we if we do get a case of mastitis now, um, we first of all take a sample. Um, it takes us 24 hours to get the results of that sample. So we sample it up and plate it up um, using these plates here. Um, so we get take the sample, we smear on, we smear on a bit of milk, and then this gives us gives us. Uh, results 24 hours later if there's no growth there we know that antibiotics can't cure this cow but if we do get growths small growths or different types of mastitis we know what kind of mastitis we are treating and we can target target that particular mastitis uh, with the drugs required um, so out of what we're plating at the moment I would say that 50% uh, of them don't require any antibiotics at all so it's reducing our antibiotic uses by a, by a lot and we've probably seen, we're running at about sort of between 15 and 20 percent uh, mastitis rates on this farm at the moment. So it's a big saving for us. Everything's recorded on these, on these sheets. So uh, the cow, cow's identification date, the quarter it was, the, the quarter that it was infected, who, who plated the sample and what the results were and did it need treating or not. So for treating the cows, that have no antibiotic growth, we can just go in with anti-inflammatories. We can use drenches, we can give them uh, uh, hypertonics or electrolytes and things like that, just, just help them get over that sort of mastitis, but they do normally cure themselves with just a little bit of help there.